Hi everyone, and uh, welcome to a tutorial on designing your own assets using the Curator Live Designer tool. So when you log into your account, you'll notice that there is an asset button up at the top link. Let me go ahead and click on that. When you click on that, you're taken to a page that uh, has a drop down on the right hand side. And on that drop down, you will notice several different types of asset types that you can edit, design, or even upload. Things like attract screens, backgrounds, buttons, microsites, etc. For this tutorial, we're going to talk about creating your own overlay. Now, there are several overlays that you can select from, but and you can also edit any of the overlays that you've uploaded. Uh, I'm going to go in and actually create an overlay from scratch. We're actually going to build this one again on the left hand side. I'm going to click on create overlay. So right when you click on to create overlays, you will notice that the designer pops up. So let's do a general overview of the designer. You have uh, the checkerboard pattern, which is basically where the photo is. You have options on the left hand side. Uh, you can name this for if you wanted to name it for you know safekeeping for later. Uh, you have your assets. These are assets that Curator provides, as well as some of the ones that you upload. You have the different sizes that you can make it, and you can also enter in the width and height if you do choose. But most typical is four by six or twelve forty by eighteen forty four. You'll notice this add cutout button, and I'll get into that once we actually get into designing. Uh, then we have something called the layers, which you'll see once we start adding assets, all the layers that are actually added. Um, each design element has a different layer. You have t a text option, which we offer several different uh, fonts that you can choose. You can also add text and choose your own font here or upload your own font, which is fairly simple. There's also icons, basic icons that you can choose from. Uh, I will say though, you can type in something like hats and it will actually, well, let's go to the noun project and actually press enter. Uh, you will notice that it actually pulls up some of the images um, such as different types of hats. And all these are SVGs, so you can change the color once you add it. For example, if I did add this one, let's just say you wanted it to be red or blue or orange or green or purple, you can definitely do that. Okay, I'm going to remove that. On the left hand side, you will also notice that there is uh, elements and elements are, they come in handy. Uh, borders, lines, solid objects, makes your life a little easier, especially when you're designing. But you can also search through these as well. We have backgrounds. There are tons of different shades of backgrounds, but the beauty here is, let's just say you're doing something for the holidays, J-O-L-I-D-A-Y-S. What you can do is type it in and it will pull and source images from Unsplash that you can utilize for your design. So for example, maybe this is something that you want to use for one of your layouts, such as a two by six or four by six image. You can utilize this. Okay. Don't worry that, don't worry about the fact that there aren't any transparent areas inside of it. We have the cutout tool, which is what I went over with you before. And I'll get into that in a moment. Okay. You can also upload your own design assets. Simply click on upload and you can simply upload your own design assets, uh, PNGs, JPEGs that you've actually sourced on the internet. And we also have a simple QR code tool which allows you to, let's just say you want to add a QR code directly to your website, HTTPS, semicolon, C-U-R-A-T-O-R-L-I-V-E.com. I can't spell sometimes. Well. That will simply generate a QR code that you can use on and place it basically on your design. So that's just a basic QR code function. So from here, let's start by creating an actual overlay that you can use, a simple four by six overlay. Now with that said, I'll choose four by six, which is 1200 by 1800 pixels. Uh, I will add a uh, background, which I've already sourced one. I went into background and I selected a background, but I also just added a cutout. And this is what I was explaining to you before. I'm gonna go ahead and add a cutout. And what this is gonna do is actually going to cut out an area where the photo will shine through. So you can choose to add this wherever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and center this as you see here. But basically, and I'll quickly do it, if I hit save, you will notice that right now over here, it's cut out the area. So that's where the photo will shine through. Let's go ahead and actually edit that a little bit more and make it a little more festive, so to speak. So first off, it's a basic overlay. I've chosen a background. You can also change the backgrounds if you wanted to. And let's show you how to do that just so that you have a bit of understanding. Oh, let's go back up. Uh, let's choose, I like a wooden one actually. Where's that wooden one I just saw? 
there it is. Okay, so we'll do something like this. Now, on this, uh, I still have the cutout, but obviously you're going to want some text, something like Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Halloween, etc. So now we have some pre-built fonts, like I said to you before. I'm going to go ahead and select it. Now you could drag it over or just click it and it will add directly to it. There's your Merry Christmas. Let's go ahead and change the font. Let's change the color to white so it stands out a bit more. Let's also add a bit of a shadow to it. Okay, let's uh, let's see. We'll add a shadow. We'll add a red shadow. Add a little, a little bit of a border around all the letters. Uh, you will notice that on these effects, you can adjust the blur, change the offset, etc., uh, as well as the opacity. So you can reduce the opacity if it's a little too strong for you. You can also just add a solid background. You can do a text stroke as well as blur it if you choose. But again, not many people would want to blur it. So now with that said, I'm going to go ahead and move this down here. I've got Merry Christmas. I'm going to size this a little bit different. Now you'll notice that I'm going to leave the Merry just a bit overlapping on top of the actual cutout. Now that's okay. It's not going to cut the Merry off. It's actually just going to cut the background area out. So that's very convenient. Now, some of the other things that you can do here is you can upload your own designs by simply clicking on Upload. Now, I've already done this, and I have some assets in here that I'm just going to simply add. I'm going to click it. I'll go ahead and resize it. I'll move it here. Let's go ahead and actually, hold on, Control-Z, that brings you back. Let's go ahead and make this just a smidge bigger. And what I want this to do is I actually want this to be in back of the words. So I'm going to go over to Layers, and since I already know that Merry and Christmas are the second two, I'm going to take this object, I'm going to move it right down to the bottom, and you'll notice that now that little Christmas thing of the Christmas tree with the presents is now in back of the letter C. So it's a little more cohesive, looks a little nicer. Okay. From here, I can also add more things. So let's go in and maybe you want to add a logo. Let's go in and actually create a uh, or add a curator logo. I know that you're, don't, you're not wanting to actually add a curator logo, but you can add your clients and anybody else's. So I'm going to go to make this a little smaller. I'm going to drag it over here. Now, uh, once I do that, I should be able to position this wherever it is that I would like this curator logo or your logo, obviously, onto the designer. So let's go ahead and move this down here. I'll add curator to the bottom. And uh, yeah, we can do that. We'll just add curator to the bottom. I'm going to leave it right there. And now, basically, I'm done. I've created a layout, or excuse me, I've created an overlay. I'm going to go ahead and hit Save. Now, let me show you how to add this overlay that you've now designed to an actual event. OK, there it is, Merry Christmas. So from your dashboard, you obviously have all of your uh, events. So let's go into, let me edit the Dancer's Edge company. And what I'll do is I'll go to page three, where you do upload the event-wide overlay. I'm going to go ahead and choose that overlay. Now, here's the beautiful thing about this. I can duplicate it, so I can make it its own, uh, or I could simply just add it. Now, if I add it, I can also edit it directly from the event page, which maybe your customer's like, you know what? I want to change the background to something else. You can do that. It's fairly simple to do. Or maybe you have, you know, you want to take the logo and you want to add the logo to the top of the page. You can absolutely do that. That's not an issue. So I'm going to go ahead and hit click on Save. The other area where you can actually do this is directly on page four, which I'll go ahead and go to page four. I'll open up the single photo experience, and if I scroll down, you'll notice that you have overlays here. Again, same thing. I can either upload an image or an overlay or select one of the ones that I have here, which again, if I add it, it's fairly simple to just edit it by clicking on the pencil icon. So now this is a general overview of the uh, layout, not the layout editor, but the assets uh, editor. Uh, should give you quite a bit of power into creating your own overlays and other assets that you see that you need. Now again, there's many sizes in here, there's many options in here, but we try to make it as simple as possible for you to build out a simple overlay. Uh, one of the things to keep an eye out for is we will be adding templates that you can simply click on and edit in the near future. Hope that helps.